Well, the Central Dakota Forensic Nurse Examiner's Office has started offering its services to children in the foster care system. Elizabeth Shores tells us about the organization's most recent expansion and why it's so important. Quick note, the children in this video are not actual victims, they're volunteers. A forensic nurse examiner's job is a sensitive one. They have the training that all nurses have, but they also learn to identify signs of physical and sexual abuse. So how are you doing today? When a victim is a child, it's particularly important to handle the case sensitively. Communications and engagement coordinator Christy Wolf says, unfortunately, it's not uncommon for children in the foster care system to also have a history of sexual and domestic abuse or neglect. She says clinics in the community were struggling to keep up with the demand for non-emergency services, sparking the center's expansion. Now, children in the foster care system can visit the examiner's clinic, Pathways to Healing, for non-acute exams. Many of them have experienced significant trauma in their lives, and we want to be able to give them that specialized, compassionate wraparound care in our clinic since we have the specially trained staff. Sexual and domestic violence is already a difficult topic for most adults, let alone children. Executive Director Tisha Scheuer says the nurses are trained to handle these kinds of situations sensitively and know how to gather evidence for law enforcement. We're hoping that they come to see us for medical care, for a medical checkup. Maybe it's a well child checkup, maybe it's something more specific. Um, and then, like I said, with um, providing those services and providing that care, we can then look, through, look at our patients through a trauma-informed lens. Wolf says that includes examining children for more subtle signs of abuse, like partially healed bones. The examiners started offering their expanded services at the beginning of October. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for your News Leader.